Hi, my name is Tay, and I'm going to show you how to make a self one container using 260 pound joint compound buckets. We're going to mark our lines for the how much space is at the bottom of the bucket. Let me do that. You're not going to actually be. You're not going to actually be right. So you're going to go down a little bit to the bottom of it and mark mark a line. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your saw and you're gonna saw a small hole on that line for the water to drain. Just like so. Then after that, you're gonna take the top bucket and flip it over. First, we want to drill small, tiny holes in the bottom of it. You can do this as many times as you want. Then, there you go. You have plenty of holes at the bottom of it for water to drain out. Next, you're going to have your, you're going to need your red cup. Plus your cup at the bottom of the, the top bucket. And just get a marker or a pen or something and just trace trace around the cup. And make sure that the cup is in the center of the bucket. You're actually gonna cut smaller than your line so the but that the but like the top of the, the cup won't fall through the bottom of the, the bottom of the bucket. So I'm actually getting around, cutting a piece off at the bottom of it. Like I said, you're not going to actually cut on the line, you're going to actually cut like inside the line. What I'm going to do next is, we're going to actually, well first, we would have to cut a 45 degree angle with a chop saw with, for your PCV pipe so that when you when we drill the hole in our, our top bucket that the PCV pipe can go straight through and that the 40 the 45 degree angle is so that the water can come through because if you if you lay it down at the bottom of it no water can come through there so you cut it in a 45 degree angle so that the water can seep through so let's make that cut what you want to do is you want to come to the side with it not too close to the edge, but you know, right next to the big hole where your cup going, where your cup is gonna lay, and he's gonna drill a hole there. Okay. Just like that. And as you can see, our PCV pipe fits perfectly. So just to show you how it's gonna look. We want to put small tiny holes into our red cup with our drill. And so that's how our cup is going to look. Not too, too many holes, but just enough holes so that the water can seep through. And then what we're going to do is actually put, put our cup through the, the top hole, the bigger, the bigger hole. Like so, we're going to place our, our our top bucket to the bottom bucket. And then what we're going to do is we're going to place our PCV pipe. The, 40, the 45 degree cut is going to face to the bottom and we're going to have this top face at the top of the bucket. We're going to drill two holes so that we can, we can tie our PCV pipe to the top of the bucket. So we're just lined up. And we're going to come along the side of the PCV pipe, not too far off, but like about right there, and about right there. That should do it. And we're going to drill two holes at what we marked. Another hole. 
You want to make sure that it's lined up. You want to push it through. Next, what we're going to do is get, we want to get our our zippy tie. You can get these at any 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 store. I think they sell these, but mainly at you know Walmart, Home Depot, and Target. What you're going to do is you're going to just tie a piece of pipe to the top of the bucket. Pull it really tight so that you make sure that it doesn't move. Real tight. Pull it towards you. If you don't want your, your zip tie hanging off like that, you just take your box cutter and just cut it, cut it off. And as you can see, we're, I'm done with the self warning container. And so you can see the inside of the self warning container, we have our red cup that we drew small holes in. We have our PCV pipe. We have our PCV pipe that you know, stable because zip tie. Then we have our small, our small hole so that the water can see through. Then we have our drain, our drain hole at the bottom of the second bucket. And that's how you make a self water container. Now that I'm done making my self water container, we're gonna actually put some dirt in it, our fertilizer. You no, know, we're just gonna just pat it down. Well, today we're gonna plant. I wanna plant. Lettuce. We're gonna plant um bib lettuce. It's a good lettuce. And then we're gonna plant red sales lettuce. <clears throat> so now we're just going on a quarter of an inch into the soil and we're just laying our seeds at the tip at the at the surface of our soil. After that we're just gonna close it up. Just gonna pat them down, make sure that they're Soil. But remember, just a quarter of an inch on the surface. But the first time we water it, we're just gonna spray it down on the top. And then, but from then, from then on, we're just gonna stop putting our water in our little PCV pipe hole, so that the water can go to the bottom and drain up, and it can do its self watering. Yeah, you can actually paint them the color of your shutters, um, color of your house, so it, you know they can look nice. Actually, I have I have blue shutters. So I painted on my mind blue. Boy, I ain't the nice, and this is how I brought.